how to create a monthly budget spreadsheet using Google Sheet. So this is what you're going to see in today's video step by step from scratch. Here with this spreadsheet, we're going to be able to control our income, our fixed expenses, our variable expenses. And of course, you're going to be able also to see the remain and the balance values that you're going to have for each one of the months or for each one of the columns that you're going to have here in your spreadsheet. And one cool interesting fact here is whenever you just need to, let's say, insert new rows or delete rows here in your spreadsheet, all the formulas and all the functions is going to be out of update for you. So you don't need to worry about, oh, if I just insert new rows or if I just delete rows, the formulas, the functions is going to be messed up. No, it's not because the way that we're going to do here, formulas and functions, it's always going to work and it's going to out of update for you. So let's find out how can we create this monthly grudge spreadsheet here in Google Sheets. Let's go. The first step that I'm going to do here is just to open the Google Sheet and then I'm going to click here, start new spreadsheet, blank one. Okay, so I'm going to select this first option. Just take a moment to load the screen and then we can start to create here our monthly budget spreadsheet. One thing that I'm going to always like to do is here, just in the corner of the, the spreadsheet, I want to just rename the entire spreadsheet. I'm going to use, let's say, a monthly budget spreadsheet or something like this. Okay, enter. And another thing that we can do also here in the tab, I can just right click, rename and put a name too. So, uh, for example, budget. Okay, now we can start to build our monthly budget spreadsheet itself. So let me start here with this first cell. I want to type it in, let's say, a monthly budget a spreadsheet or something like this, okay? A monthly budget, I think it's, it's good. And now in the second row here, I want to type it in all the months that we have in the, the year. However, I will not start with the column A. I'm going to start here with the column B. So let's say January, February, and so on. However, instead of just do it manually, we can automate this. You don't need even to type it in February. If you just type January or Jan in a short way, you can just select here in the corner of the cell, click hold and drag to the right. That way, the Google spreadsheet just continues to you to make the sequence. So September, October, click hold and drag to the right again. And OK, we're done here. Let me just delete this column N, OK, because I just need to December and it's go to the column M. Now that we're done with this first part, this is going to be our header in our spreadsheet. And one more thing that I want you to do here is just to select the entire first row that I have to the column M. Okay, so column A to the column M. And here in this menu tab that we have here, I'm gonna just merge and center everyone here. So merge all. Okay. That way we can make sure that the first row is just one block. So we just take separate cells and then merge everyone together. And one more step here is just to make sure it's everyone aligned here in the center. Our header or title is just in the center of the of our spreadsheet. Now I can just, let's say, select the first two rows that I have here. And then I can put uh, borders, let's say. So this first option, all borders. I can also change the color of the background. Let me just select this dark gray for, and also let's say the text color, I'm gonna put it into white and in bold. And also and I can just align everyone here in the center again, and here align in the middle. Now here, uh, we're gonna let the row number three blank. I will not insert any informations here. However, my row number four, I'm going to start here with, uh, let's say, the description. This description of my income, or even I can just insert the, the, the title itself. So here it's going to be my income. And for the income, I'm going to use January, February, March, April as the reference for all the columns that we're going to need to use. So let's say my income, I'm going to use the column B for January, column C for February, and so on. So I don't need to type it in again all the months that are that I just typed in before. So let me just insert here a couple of uh, incomes that I have, for example, let's say paycheck, paycheck, the first paycheck, maybe it can be common to, you have two paychecks in the month, or if you just have uh, just one, just type in what you have as your incomes, okay? You don't need to just cope what I'm doing here as my incomes. Let's say you have also a side hustle, for example, and uh, just separate these two words. Okay, and others. Let's say here uh, there is many certain situations that you will just earn a little extra cash in the month. Just type in orders here, and then let's say here I'm gonna use the total. Now one thing that I can do as ju uh, I just did before is just select this entire row here where I have my title, and then I'm gonna merge everything. I'm gonna align it in the middle and in the center. I'm gonna paint it now with uh, let's say a green color because it's my income. So we're going to paint it in green. I can change the text color to white, put it in bold. And of course I can select all the rows here that make up my income and put the other one here with borders. Let's say that way. Okay. And I think it's good. Let me just increase a little bit the size of the column A. So click drag the right. 
Okay, now one more thing here in the total, we need to just type it in a function or a formula. But I think it's better to use here a sum function. Why? Why use a sum function instead of using a formula? Let's say equal sign, the first cell plus the second cell plus the third one. Why it's better to use a function and not just a formula like this? Because look, imagine if every day you need to just add a bunch of rows here. If you just use formulas, equal sign, this cell, plus this one here above, you know, even if you just add a new row, the formula is not going to update for you. So it's going to be lacking some information. That way, when you use a, a sum function, let's say equal sign, sum function, click. And then if you just select all this range that you have here, even if you just add a new empty row, the range of the sum function is going to auto update for you. So here, let me stick with the sum function. Click, select all this range that I have above close parentheses, enter, and check it, Check this out. So I'm going to add a new row here, right click, I'm going to click insert one row above. Even if you just add a new empty row here, the function, the sum functions is still going to work for you. So look at the range that is selecting here. So it's correct. So this is why it's maybe better to use a function instead of use a formula here. One more thing that I can do here is just select this, the, the row number nine, where I have my total function, select everyone here. I'm going to, let's say, paint it with a uh, a light gray, let's say that one, and I can also put uh, everyone here in bold. And one more thing, as we are working with money, we can just select all the cells that make up here my income block, and then I can just change everyone here to dollar with the dollar sign. Let me just click here, format as currency. Okay, and we're done basically with the first part of our spreadsheet. And of course, I can just type it in here the, the value. So my first paycheck, let's say 1500. And again, 1500. Uh, side hustle, let's say uh, 300. And orders, let's say 50. Okay. Now, let's say uh, you just need to insert a new row with new information. How can you do it? We just did it before. So we just need to right click in the row that we want to add in a specific new row. And then you can start insert one row above or one row below. You're going to choose, let's say, one row above. And here I can insert it in, let's say, my paycheck, my 30 paycheck, let's say that way. And here, a thousand dollars, for example. And whenever I just update the values, insert new rows, the function is still going to work for me. So this is why one more time is important to use a function here in the Google instead of using formulas, because whenever you just add new rows or new columns, the function is going to still work for you. And if you want to delete the entire row, right click, you'll just click here, delete row. And okay, now let's continue here and let me just type it in here. Now my expenses. We can do it uh, in many different ways, but here I'm going to use two different expenses. The variables one and then the fixed one. Okay, so I'm going to start here with the fixed uh, expenses. However, of course, you can just use expenses as uh, just one block, okay? You can just create one single block to your expenses. However, in my opinion, I think uh, it's better. Just in my opinion, okay, you can do whatever you want to do. So I just want to do two different blocks here. First one is going to be my fixed expenses, and the, the second one is going to be my variable expenses. Let me just select here the entire row, number 11, and then I go to, let's say, merge everyone here, just centralize, and then make sure everything here in the middle. And now I can just create here and insert what type of expenses that I have. Oh, but I just double click here. Instead of just using expenses, I'm going to use, let's say, fix the expenses, enter. Okay, now it's good. And let's say here I have the, a rent, a car payment. I have also a enter insurance and gene and orders. Okay, and of course I have my total. Here, one two factor here. I can just cope, let's say, I can cope this entire row to, uh, of the total that I just made before. And I can control C in this entire row that I just did before. And then I can click here in the row number 17, Control V. That way it's much easier to, I don't need to do it all over again manually. I can just scope and paste. It's much easier. Huh? I just need to make sure, let me just double click here in the function if it's working correct. If all the range is select and here I can see that not, not all the range is selected. So I just need to update the range of my function. So let me here inside, instead of just using the, the range B13 to B16, I need to use B12, let's say, B12, okay, enter. One more thing that we can do here is just to increase a little bit the size of the column A, just a little bit, click, hold, and drag to the right, 
Okay, just to make sure all the text that we just typed in is not bigger than the, the actual size of the column itself, I can insert some values here for rent, let's say uh, 800, car payment 200, renter insurance 100, and let's say 20, and orders let's say 50. Now one more step that I just forget to do before, uh, here in our total function, I can just Ctrl C, Ctrl V in all the columns that I have, or of course, I can just click, hold, and drag to the right. That way it's much more easy to just make sure all the columns is going to contain the same function. I'm going to do the same thing here for my fixed expenses. Click, hold, and drag to the right, and OK. And one more step here in my fixed ex expenses. I just need to select everyone here. I'm going to make sure I'm going to put it with borders, all borders. And one more thing just here in the title, fixed expenses. I'm going to select it, and I go here to, let's say, I'm going to paint it with this red height right here. I'm going to paint the text with this white, put in the bold, and all the values here need to be in dollar, let's say that way. So I'm going to select everyone, I'm going to format as currents. Okay, now we're done. So just one more block that is missing here is our variable expenses. And to make it even more easier to do, let me just select my entire fixed expenses. I'm going to select everyone, Control C, now we're going to click here, let's say in this A19 cell, Control V. That way I'm just duplicating my fixed expenses. However, instead of using fixed expenses here, I can just change the name, double click it, and use here, let's say, uh, variable expenses. Enter. I can also change the color, just to not look the same. Okay, so let me change the color to orange. I think it's looking good. Orange or yellow, maybe. But I'm going to let it in orange, okay? And uh, of course, I can change it here. Uh, my variable expenses because it's different. Three city view, for example, and also have here water. I also have my cell phone expenses, field care, okay, and I have also food, and I have a lot of others uh, variable expenses here. And to make sure, I can just continue to insert rows here. I can just select, let's say, the row 21 up to 23, for example, and then I can right click it and I go to insert rows below, let's say. Now I have here three blank rows, and if I just check here my total function or my sum function, I can see that all the range is correct. So whenever I just add any rows or if I just read it off the rows, my range of my sum functions is still going to work for me. So it's going to auto-update. This is one more time why this is important to use the sum function here uh, in the Google Sheets. So child care, food, fun, and let's say also I have here orders, okay? So let me read it off this row 26, click, right click, and go to delete row. Now let's say I want to just change the position, the, the row that I have here, the food, with the row that I have orders. So I want to just change these posi positions, just to switch the position. I can, let's say, click here in the row 26, click, and here in between one row and another, I can just click, hold, and drag up. That way I can just switch the positions so easy. Now I just want to fill here my variable expenses. Let me just put here um, a random value, so 50 to everyone, okay? I know that uh, it's not 50 for everyone here, but I'm just going to fill that way because uh, to make the video faster, okay? And one more step that we can do here is maybe freeze the header because let's say here you have a bunch of rows, a bunch of informations in your spreadsheet. So whenever you just take a look here to the informations that are just down below, you cannot even see one month, you, you, one month you have here, so you lost the reference. So as you need to just lock, to just freeze the header, you're gonna need to just select the, the column, the first column and the row number three. That way you can just freeze everything that is to the left to the selection and everything that is above the selection. So let me stick here with the cell A3 and then I go to view tab, freeze, and I'm gonna freeze, let's say, uh, two rows. Okay, I can select here two rows and yeah. That way I make sure, whenever I just scroll down here my spreadsheet or just go up, I can make sure I always have my header in my site, okay? Two last informations that I'm gonna want to add up here in my spreadsheet is my remaining value and also, and of course, see also my balance. Okay, now I can select everyone here to the last column that I'm gonna use, column M, and then I can just put borders, all borders, I can centralize and I can just centralize here in the middle too. I can put uh, everyone here in bold, let's say, and I think it's good. Let me just select this remain imbalance cell. I'm gonna 
painted the text with this white here and I'm gonna change the color to let's say this blue right here I think it's good my rename is gonna be the equal sign I'm gonna select the first thing here my income and then minus my expenses minus this is another expenses that I have here enter now we're done with this first formula here so my remain value is equal to the total income minus the total of expenses that we have enter now to the balance the first column that we have the first balance is going to be equal to the cell here above It's going to be equal to the remaining value enter now the second the third one and so on in the balances is going to be equal sign the previous one plus the actual remain value here so enter that way you can create your balances so let's say we start uh, the month january with a few thousand dollars for example and then you can see if you can just grow your bank account or if you are just uh, decrease the value of your bank account so you can see this progression now i can just click here hold and drag to the right to make sure all the rows all the columns contain the same function the same formula now to just finish here the remain value i can just click hold and drag to the right to so that way okay and we can see here that the balance value is equal to all the months that we have this is because we just have incomes and expenses in the first month of the year so just january however if i just fill, fill it with new informations the february march and so on i can see that the other columns here are gonna start update for me the value so let me just start here to but anyway we actually done with this month budget spreadsheet here in google spreadsheet so if you have any questions and uh, rejections to the next video just comment down below and do not forget to give me a thumbs up okay so let's continue here to just fill it in a couple more of columns so in the my income let me just uh control c everyone here control v control v let's say that way however in my side hustle I got zero in this month and here I got a thousand let's say okay and orders let's say zero and zero again now let me fill it in here my fixed expenses ctrl c ctrl v let's make that way it's faster and of course here my variable expenses too ctrl c ctrl v now let me take a look here now in the remain and in the balance value I can see that my remain value uh, it's, it's changed through the months through the, the columns that we have. And of course, I can see also that the balance, of course, is changing too. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as I just said before, if you have any questions, any suggestions for the next video, let me know, comment below, because I'm going to help you out. And one more time, thanks for watching, and I see you tomorrow. As every day has a new video, I see you there.